So we're going to take this from our regular defense, which is our 108, 208 defense, as we always call it. And we're now going to turn this into the 108, 208 with a press, in the sense that we're going to press out on the ball uh, and force some turnovers. We'll use this against teams that are better teams, uh, that are better at passing around the outside, and cause us to get a bit lazy on defense, and we want to force a turnover. So they're running what we'll call a 1-3-2, one, one, uh, one up high. So they'll have one offensive player up here, two, or excuse me, three here, and a two. So it's a 1-3-2 going from the top down. And when we look at this, what we end up having uh, is taking away the adjacent pass. The adjacent pass is the one that goes to the one right beside it. And we're going to want to take that away. And so uh, we will press out with player seven and player five on defense and take away that easy pass. At the same time, we are going to take away the skip pass. Now, in the past, we've always used the one away to take away the skip pass. We're now going to use the players that are two away to take away the skip pass. So player two will typically move up into this direction. Player four moves out to take away the long pass to the X player. And player three stays with the guy in front of his net. And now we've essentially still got our help wherever we need it coming from the middle. Uh, on a slide if they were to dodge the net, but we also have the ability to take away skip passes and one one pass away. As we continue to see where the ball is, um, actually one final comment here, this becomes even more important that when we play this guy, we do not play him on the uh, on, on the, the net side of the ball. We want to play him on the, the middle of the, the field. Our goal is to take away this strip of the field. We do not want to let him get in this direction we want to force him in this direction. That makes it easier on our defenseman uh, to know where the slide is going to come from. It also makes it easier on you as a defender when you only have to force him in one direction. So now that we've gotten that side of the field taken away, if he begins to dodge the net, you've got the slide coming from the middle from player three. As player three slides, he needs to yell that he's doubling or that there's a slide coming. That tells the, everyone on the field that there needs to be a fill happening. In this case, fill is going to be coming from player four. He is going to fill in his spot, which is why it's called fill, and that's going to take away that easy pass to the guy in front of the net. That fill has to happen exceptionally quickly. Our goal here is to force the player back out or to dump the ball back through X so we can get back and recover on D. We just want to scare him off of driving to the net. So assuming we scare him off, the players recover, they go back to their positions, and then they begin to move the ball. Now the big thing we want to do is take away this skip pass that's going to go to there. We don't want to let that happen. So player 5 and player 7 are going to try to deny that, but they've got to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe or hip-to-hip -hip with their guy so that he can't cut to the middle and beat us on a backdoor cut. So if that happens, we'll force it. If they do complete a pass, you'll see how our defense rotates. The one aways take away the side pass or the adjacent pass. Uh, player 5 now, who is 2 away on defense, is taking away the skip pass. Player 2 on defense has now moved towards the middle to help fill in case there's a dodge towards the net. Once they hit X, then all of a sudden we end up with um, re resetting our defense. You'll see where player 4 is now on the ball tight. Player 2 and 7 on defense are taking away this, the adjacent the one-away pass. And then player 3 in the middle is still with the guy in front. But player five and six have begun to slide down, take away that skip pass, but still there to fill in. If for whatever reason there's a dodge to the net that comes up in this direction, we are going to want player three to uh, be the one that helps. The uh, player four would be up there double teaming him, and player six is the ideal one to come and fill. The reason is that's a much harder pass for that to happen than this pass. So we want to keep player five in this direction if possible. But if for whatever reason when the double team comes that player six is out of position, we'd rather have player five move there. We'd need to take away the middle of that net.